Alright, so in this one, we're going to be going over the new Game Press tier list that has just come out uh, yesterday. It came out at midday, I think, so we're going to be going over it. But we do have a message from the creator of the tier list, Raditz. Oh, whoops, it is not there. Right here, he basically said this. I said, what do you want to say just before because people do watch this video and maybe they'll critique something. So he told me, I'll tell you guys this. Pretty much the only thing the average viewer needs to know is that if units are within five placements of each other, they can be argued over each other. Remember this for when we go over the tier list, and I'll remember it too. Z tier, no wrong order with those three either, so anyone can be number one. It's discretion at that point for those top three, and that tier one and even tier two does not mean unusable. So everyone does mean, oh, if they're not S tier, they're not really usable. That's not true, it's just that they're just below the rankings compared to the others. So, that's a discretion before we actually get into it. That is what he has told me to say, because I did ask him, what do you want to say before? Because, again, um, it does matter, his input, because people do care, care about these tier lists and care about what he says, because it is a good basis to follow, maybe not to the T, but it's an opinion of someone and a group of people that actually know what they're doing in this game for a while. So, to go over the important notes, 1% banner units are at 7 stars, Zenkai fighters featured in Master Pack banners and tutorial missions are 14 stars, so, for example, um, tutorial missions, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, Scout of Vegeta, Green Broly, uh, let's say Master Pack, Android 18, Android 16, those type of units. So those units that you've been summoning on for your Master Pack tickets, and those given to 7 star for free after you do a certain part of the story, those are all at 14. Zenkai fighters not in Mass Attack banners and tutorial missions are at 9 stars. So who, I don't know who a good example is for that because I don't really know. Um, was Super 17 in Master's Pack? Maybe Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta weren't in Master's Pack? So I'll say them. Good examples of who weren't. If they were, let me know, but I don't think they were. Free-to-play fighters and free-to-play Zenkai fighters are 14 stars. So Android 21, for example, is at 14. And Zenkai Legends Limited fighters are at 7, so they are not 14 stars, these Legends Limited units, they are at 7. So Z tier, again, discretionary, who the number 3 to number 1 and 2 is. It is all your discretion, who you, you base number 1, 2, and 3 are. Gohan, 18, and Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Obviously, I assume in his discretion, he could feel Gohan is better, or Goku is better, or 18. Um, I know Raditz does actually like to use androids with super 17 so he might think 18 is better just because they flow well but again overall um yes i agree gohan 18 and goku are the top three units of this game they are just on a different echelon of fighting to where they can do anything they want to whenever they want to at any point of the match and take over and win they don't need anybody to help them they don't need anything they do everything on their own and with that being said, they deserve to where they are, to be where they are, and there's no issue to me with it. So, S tier. Uh, not too drastically different from the fighters in Z tier. These fighters have a few minuscule flaws that don't let them take over the game consistently or lack proper tag support, which in turn compromises how well they perform. For the most part, these fighters are consistently brought into PvP matches or on S and Z tier teams. Okay, so remember, people within five of another he thinks could be switched around. So let's say Goku, Super Saiyan Blue, could be switched around with Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Remember the discretion we have here. So let's see, Zenkai Super Saiyan Blue Goku would be rated at 14. Gogeta, I don't think he's actually on Master's Pack. Is he? I don't know. I'm not going to really care about that too much, but if I notice it, I'll point it out. Goku, yeah, uh, maybe not the best S tier unit. Again, you can't swap them around. Uh, I think Gogeta and a Bardock are number one and number two S tier, and they can be swapped around with your own discretion. Super Saiyan Blue Goku is very good. Gaki does have more support with a new red unit, but I do think um, Bardock's flow with Gogeta is just unparalleled to what Super Saiyan Blue Goku is in comparison. Alone, Super Saiyan Blue Goku just is not enough, I would say. I would say Bardock can do more than Super Saiyan Blue Goku as a solo unit, not maybe in the toughest scenarios, but in most scenarios, Bardock and Super Saiyan Blue Goku are very similar, and I think Bardock hedges it out, because from my experience, he has clutched more than Super Saiyan Blue Goku, who also can clutch a lot. Again, 
these like swaps are not really big deals. It's just how I feel. So I think Bardock could swap Super Saiyan Blue Goku, Gogeta could stay right there. So that's just me. And obviously Gogeta with Bardock is an excellent pair, so they would be one and two. So Blue Goku would be third. Super Saiyan 4 Goku, I would definitely say is below. Yeah, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, I don't really respect as much as maybe some other people do. Um, his damage he gets isn't that high. His cut he has isn't that great. His buffs aren't that great. He's a jack of all trades master of none type because he's supporting defense and attack, but he's not doing anything amazing. Like, I'm surprised Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is so low because I think Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is double the unit Super Saiyan 4 Goku is. I think he's okay. I think he's okay for the color that he is on GT at least. He's a good color, but on a Saiyan base team, I'm running Super Saiyan 3 Goku every time. So I think for that argument alone, I think Super Saiyan 3 Goku edges out um, in beating Super Saiyan 4 Goku on this list. I even think Boo can pass him up. Again, Super Saiyan 4 Goku is not your priority option on his main team, which would be Saiyans. Like, I would want to run this guy on Saiyans and GT. And while well, on a Saiyan or GT team, you're going to have Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta with him. Or Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, you can have those options on either team. And he's not your priority on Saiyans. So I think Boo, who is a priority on Regen, because the lock-in is so powerful and so crazy, I think he best. Super Saiyan 4 Goku with ease, like, I don't even think it's an argument. I think Super Saiyan 4 Goku is a lot lower. Well, I don't want to just put him down down. I think he's a lot lower than what he is here, but I don't think he's like, you know, um, let's say Android 21 level. I think he's better than her. I don't think it's by much, but I do think he's better. Let's continue. Uh, Boo, yeah, I move him up. Super Saiyan 3 Goku, I move him up. Legends Limited Kid Boo. So they did a new thing where they'll rate them at six stars the lf units and at three stars basically right so legends limited kid boo yes i honestly could see the argument with him being higher um maybe i understand why he's not as high because super saiyan 3 lf is a green unit and this guy obviously is a blue fragile unit but uh i like the respect that they're giving him he is easily one of the best legends limited units in the game not zenkai and I agree with this list, rating him as the best non-Zenkai Legends Limited unit. Um, if he came back on any of these banners recently, people would star him up and they would see how devastating he is. He does literally anything you need that a Legends Limited unit really can't do uh, with the newer ones. Just personally, I don't think any of the newer ones can match up to Kid Boo. Just me. Green Super 17, again, I, he does like Super 17 a lot, so understand that with this list um green super 17 greater than Namek goku yeah trunk yeah, i i agree um androids isn't actually the best of the best that's ever been because they don't really have a purple option and android 18 can just be countered out by several options at the point you know she'll still do her great phenomenal damage but she can die fairly quickly uh super 17 does help her with the green cards that he's supplying her but with, you know, besides that, um, him alone is more durable and just a better overall choice than 18 in like a long-standing fight. Now, is 18 going to do more damage? Obviously. Is he going to do less and just support her with the greens? Yes. But uh, Andrews isn't the best where it's, isn't the best that's ever been. So him being here makes sense because they need a little help if they got a purple. They'd be top tier again but for now you know being the top of s is not a you know mistake or a bad thing for super 17 i think he's right where he should be legends limited namek goku now remember they're at seven stars these lf units that are sparkings so uh zenkai sparking lf units rather um so namek goku being uh, here yeah, let me Okay, I agree where his placement. Um, Kid Boo, I don't know about that. I think it's hard to see what Namek Goku is for what he is. Now, what I mean by that is, um, he's a very, if you're good, you'll do great. And if you're bad, you won't really see any effect with them. Um, similar to UI Goku, it's just that 
you need to play well to make him look good. So I'll, there's a lot of people that are saying, oh, he should be replaced with Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Like, they should swap places. He should be number one S tier. And the reason I disagree is because that's all player-based, right? Like, if you're a great player named Goku, you play with him 24-7. You know how to work him and work the enemy in 1v3 with him 24-7. Maybe that's for you, but normal play with normal base type things um not counting his blue card because that's a skill based thing really it is um you have to be good at it to make it work right with his normal kit he doesn't match up to the meta he just can't um he relies on the blue card more or less to do everything that he's doing and or being a last man standing slash uh second man standing because he will get those abnormal effects uh immune to all of them but obviously the last man standing is his forte and that's all discretion to how good you are so i don't think his placement is wrong or right i think it makes sense if you're looking at a grand scheme namek a goku player not just the top echelon of them so that's my take on him i know it's a controversial one for namek goku to be here super saiyan 2 trunks i think could be lower um I think Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is over him. I think... Do I think Future Gohan's over Super Saiyan 2 Trunks? Uh, I, I don't want to say yes, but I don't want to say no. Uh, I think there's an argument to be made with that, but we'll go into him later. Uh, overall, Trunks is just okay. He's a good unit. I won't even say he's okay. He's good. It's just that he's so one-dimensional. Like, he's not that tanky. He can tank, sure, because he has Zenkai stats and all that. But he's not that tanky. Uh, his green card does heal. His main does draw blue. He is lowering sub count. But overall, his one dimensional thing is doing blast and trying to bleed the opponent. And right now, Future isn't the best, best team in the game. And Hybrids isn't the best, best team in the game. Which both is where he strives and does his best. But them not being the best makes him be where he is. I think he could even fight for being lower. But him being the best blue option on the Future does make him warranted to stay in S tier, so I kind of get it. LS Piccolo, I don't really respect. Um, Regen, Regen can do two teams, and I don't really run both, but if I were to, I would say this guy is more of the Blast-based Regen team with like 21, uh, DKP, and then this guy. Blast-based Regen, then you have Strike-based Regen, which is DKP, Yellow, uh, the other one I was talking about was purple, and Fat Boo, and then let's say Zamasu. Strike based regen works out really well. I prefer strike based regen, so that's why I would rate Zamasu personally over LF Piccolo because I think strike based regen is a lot more sustainable and hard hitting. Uh, you get the Dragon Ball stealing, you get the lock in with Boo, you have Zamasu who can go neutral, his damage is insane, he's healing every time he does a card. And Boo has the main ability to heal. I just think it's better. So I would rate Piccolo probably below Zamasu and below DKP. Maybe even below... Or, yeah, I rate Piccolo below them. Maybe even below Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. But GT is not that great. So maybe it kind of makes sense to where he is. But Piccolo, he's good blast-based damage. Uh, he doesn't do too much until you're really like transformed. You get the card draw speed, get the green cards, uh, catch some floating and bait him out with the blue card damage which can do really good but besides that um he's not gonna be the tankiest unit he's not gonna be the best damaging that you could have on the team so i think he could be moved down a little bit but again the five units around them it's all discretion at that point right like i can move him five up or five down it's just my discretion of him and i think he could be moved down just a little bit zamasu uh i agree um in the area that he's in he does deserve to be where he is in this area now do i think zamasu is better than gogeta um from my play my zamasu is two stars understand that my gogeta is six so obviously i think gogeta is better but looking at them actual unit wise i do think zamasu is better but how much um is he better mm. I'm thinking, yes, uh, Zamasu not being tanky is his only downfall, but every upside he has is upside by like plus 20. So yeah, um, I had it in my tier list that Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta was better, 
again, that's me comparing a six star to a two star. You know, I do have some bias when I'm using them because I, my star levels, right? Like I could say I'm not biased all I want, but if I'm really just thinking about it, I have to be biased because I'm comparing them from my playing. So looking at it just straight up, Zamasu is better than Gogeta. I would say by a okay margin, not a good margin, not a great margin, but by an okay margin to where you would see Zamasu always edging out Gogeta in a tier list. So not much else to say. I think Zamasu's placement is correct enough. I think he could be a little lower, but I think it's correct enough. Uh, DKP, yeah, uh, strike-based regen is just stupid. That's it. It's really good. It's not maybe the best team, but it's very good at what it can do, and it works well. So I like where he's at. Um, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, again, I think he should be higher, maybe below Blue Trunks at the least. I just think he's great on Saiyans. He's great on GT. He's not replaced on either team. I think he's a mainstay unit on the best Saiyan team with Angel, Vegeta, Super Saiyan 3, Goku, and himself, because he gives that buff to ultimate damage, awakened arts, and to damage inflicted on his main, he can faint on his ultimate, uh, he has infinite card draw speed, he has good damage, I just think he works very well, so I do think he deserves a little bit more respect to be higher up, but it's not the worst thing putting him here, because he's still in S, and he's still in a viable spot to where you'd be like, okay, it's respectable enough. LF Future Gohan at 6 stars is better than Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. That's a take, huh? <sighs> Let's think about the teams. Future, a lot better than GT, no doubt. Easily, that's not even an argument. Uh, hybrids, a lot better than GT, again, no doubt. Sun Family, you're not going to run this guy in Sun Family. Fusions is hybrids in the future. Yeah, they're better than fusions. Okay. Yeah, team-wise, I agree. Utility-wise, Gohan is better. His supporting is better. His green cards that he draws is better for his team with Trunks, with Goku Black, with Purple Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, whoever you run with him. Or even, you know, just himself. He gets the key back. He has infinite card draw speed. He can lock uh, green and blue cards, I believe, on his main, which stuns Namek Goku players because they're just like, huh, whoa. Um, he has the cover change, or cover... Uh, well, cover change, yeah. Uh, against Blast, where he destroys two of the enemy cards, and then you could chain into that if they don't know what they're doing. Or you could wait for them to sidestep and catch them. Then you have infinite card draw speed. You farm your rush, farm your rush, or you go to your LF Gohan. You go to your Rosé, you go to your Blue Trunks. You do good damage, because he's a all-around support unit. So yes, I do think LF Gohan is better than Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Utility-wise, yes. A better unit, I agree. I'm shocked I said that. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta... Uh, he's in the right spot. We talked about him so much already, just mentioning him, comparing to other units. He is in the right spot. I don't think uh, he should be moved at all. Just right where he should be. If fusions get another Zenkai, like let's say LF Super Vegito Zenkais, yeah, he's going to be higher up because fusion's going to be better. But his main teams are not the greatest, and in turn, that doesn't make him the greatest. Again, another thing that's wrong with him is his unique, which is only good against two characters in the entire game, uh, Revival Cell and Blue Goku, which you're really not seeing play of both those units, or uh, Clapku, Revival Goku. So, yeah, uh, I think he deserves where he could be, where he is, rather, and I think he could even be contested with Super Saiyan and Blue Gogeta. I think he could even have that argument to be better than him, but we'll get into that as we continue. Purple DKP... I think he actually should be a little lower, just because a strike-based regen is a lot better with Zamasu than a blast-based. Um, I think he should be closer to 21's level. I think he could be swapped out with Purple Super Saiyan Blue uh, Vegito, personally. But it's not the worst thing Radium here. I just think he takes way too long to actually do well, and that's his main problem. I've always said that, and I think it'll always be his biggest issue to me, and I'll never like him because of how long it takes him to do well. Because you have to swap in, swap out have this many Dragon Balls, uh, or this amount of timer counts passed, and then you have to swap in and out to get his card draw speed, and it takes a lot of setup to actually make him do well, but the setup is worth the payout. So I understand the S tier because the setup is worth it, but it just takes too much for me to personally say, okay, this is warranted of this placement. I think he should always be a little lower than what he will be rated. 
Vados, uh, very good support. She is fragile and does basically everything. Uh, you wonder why she's right next to Gogeta Blue and God Vegeta. It's because she's great support for them, giving the healing, which Vegeta does after a combo. Gogeta does every time he comes in and on his main. She's a great support for God Key and should be a little higher personally, just because how well God Key is thriving with these newer units and everything they have so far with, you know, Blue Vegito, uh, Zamasu, and everything else. Uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Gogeta, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, I think has the argument to be above Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta because his team's better. Not because he's better. I think Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is a better unit, but I think Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta is a better character on his team. Now, is he better than God Vegeta? That's the thing. No. Um, if you... Oh, that's hard, man. Because I just ran him today, right? Oh, he's not better than God Vegeta, no. I, I don't think so. I just think God Vegeta is way too good. I think he's always been slept on. Uh, yeah, he's not. I think, personally, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is actually lower than God Vegeta, then. And then Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta is lower than God Vegeta, but he's above Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Hot take, but I think Super Saiyan Blue is better than Super Saiyan 4. Just me. But yeah, God Vegeta uh, deserves more respect. Uh, I just think he's a really good unit and works very well for God Key with what he is and a very good Zenkai. I think he returned? I think he returned recently, so if you didn't get him Zenkai then, then you're missing out because he's very good. If you don't have LF Gogeta, you're really not running the yellow on God Key because Shampa is not that great. He's probably like tier 2. And again, tier 2 options are runnable. They're just not the best options. Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. Um, I respect it. I did say he could swap with DKP, and I agree with that. I do think he is very good. He can do so much damage once you swap in and out, in and out, in and out with, let's say, Vado support. Um, he just does very good damage. He has the Bardock effect with his main ability where he can get his vanish back when popping the ultimate. And it has Blast Armor, so it's better than Bardock's. Blue card's a quick animation. Green card has Blast Armor as well, destroying the Dragon Balls, uh, locking them in for three counts. Again, lock-ins are crazy, but it doesn't change, so it's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's very good for what it is. And his damage is just really good. I like him. Android 21 it makes sense. Uh, again, it just blast-based regen isn't the best, and her being where she is kind of shows that. She has card draw speed, and all she really does is support Android 18. Or if you run blast-based regen, she's just your support. She's nothing more than support and a dire. That's all she does. Green Goku Black and Blow 21 is a hot take. I completely disagree with. Um, Green Goku Black, he has. Has he really aged? He's aged a tiny bit, right? And you do have other options that could replace him if you really, really try to. But I, I still think he's better than 21 by a good mile. Uh, his damage is still crazy, his stats are still crazy, and he could still put in the work. So I think he could be higher up. But overall, S tier, I, you know, I could swap some around. There's only one big thing I would swap around, which is Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. To a lot higher in Super Saiyan 4 Goku, a lot lower. But overall, I tend to agree. I like how they did it six stars and three stars right here. I like that. So, tier one, right? Yes, sir. So, again, tier one, tier two are not bad, unusable options. They're just lower than S tier. That's all that means. So, we'll go through tier one, then we'll go through tier two semi quickly, right? Yes, yeah, I don't give a shit about tier three. Damn, Zenkai Vegeta, huh? My boy. Oh, man. So UI Goku number one uh, right here, I really argue that a three-star Kid Buu is better than UI Goku at six stars, 100%, easily. Uh, God Key, yes, I know is a better team than Regen, but Kid Buu, man, no, I just think he's better. Like, overall, I still think Kid Buu is number one tier one. Um, I think he could even make it to S tier at three-star Kid Buu, honestly, like, I'm not even joking. Kid Buu's stupid. So, UI Goku could go to, go down a little bit here, but overall, I kind of get it. Um, he is not the best option for God Key because Vegito Blue is better with supporting and actually, you know, having more utility than just dodge, dodge, dodge. He's actually helping his team a little bit. 
and he gets the vanish back. He has more versatile features than just, okay, I'm going to dodge and do mediocre damage until I get built up with timer count in the fight as UI Goku does. So I agree, UI Goku is a top tier one unit, but I don't think he is the number one. Again, I just said for Kid Buu, he should be number one. So let's go to future Gohan. Three stars, I think an LF Broly is better. That's at six stars. Um, just again, critical buffs, Bardock. That's all I really have to say. Um, Broly is better than uh, LF Future Gohan at these stars, I do think. Just without a shadow of a doubt. So, EX Future Gohan. Um, really? Above is a. Uh, I, no, 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 no. I don't no. know. I really like a EX Future Gohan. Um, Z ability wise, he's not great on hybrids. On Future, you're really not gonna run him because Goku Black exists. But if you don't have Goku Black somehow, again, he's at 14 stars. He's maxed out. I I can't really see a scenario where I rate this guy above any of the three. Maybe Revival Cell, but he's definitely not better than Gogeta and Zamasu. No way. Yeah, I don't see it. Just not a mainstay unit and not a main pick. While Gogeta is a main pick and Zamasu is also a main pick on his team. Even at three stars, they are main picks on their teams color-wise. Because Gaki has no other red to pick from. And again, same option for fusions. They have no other green to pick from. Maybe GT, okay, Super 17's a pick. But fusions, no other pick. Gohan, you don't need a green on his teams. Just from my experience, you don't need a green on hybrids. And on future... Goku Black exists, and if you really don't have Goku Black, you probably aren't running Future because Goku Black has been everywhere on the banners, so that's just me. Zamasu, again, I do think is better than Gogeta, uh, equal footing and or even less footing, uh, just how it is. Revival Cell, I think, is overrated here. I think he should be moved down, down below 21, yeah, I would even argue that he's below Nova. Um, I really don't like Revival Cell. He's way too squishy and doesn't do enough damage to warrant his squishiness. I just don't like him anymore. Don't think he's warranted to be as high up as he is right here. I think he should move, be, be moved down a lot. Apologize if I'm stuttering. It's late at night and I'm also a babbling buffoon. Uh, Topo. Hmm, Topo. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Rival Universe isn't the best spot, but Topo is one of the better Rival Universe members. Hit being number two. Well, number three, technically, because Vados is number one. Yeah, Hit makes sense. He's That's literally the core. It's going to be Topo, um, Vados, and Hit. And you can run, like, Bergama or something if you want, like, a more tanky setup. But that's the core of Rival Universe, so I agree. Android 21 green. Mm. Do you warrant that spot, truly? No, no, I, I think you're below Nova. Yeah, your damage just isn't that good, and your fragility is very, very showing every single time I've ever faced you, and I faced you a lot in the past, so. Yeah, I definitely think you deserve to be moved down, just a little bit below Nova, I don't think you're that great. Angel Vegeta should be a lot higher. His support is just similar to Vados, just that it's less. Um, he deserves to be a lot higher. I would say above Revival Cell. Maybe replace him. Swap him out. Personally, that's just me. He is the best unit to pair with Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So, I think he warrants a spot being a little higher. Vegito Blue at 6. He's better than Android 17 at 7. I don't agree with that, but I agree with everyone else he's better than. I do think he's better than Nova, Keflug, Bergamo, and Broly. So I would think 17 moves up to above Vegito Blue, and then um, Nova's right below them. Yeah. I think 17's definitely better. Uh, we'll get to 17 when I get to him, but Vegito Blue is in a correct spot. It's just that people below him should be moved up. Uh, Sparking Nova... I've watched so little matches of Nova, and I've tried to care about him while using him, and I just don't. Um, where's Ice? Ice is lower than Nova. Okay, I, I don't get that, because GT has no blue. And at least in this scenario, 
Nova can be replaced depending the stars. Let's say a six star LF Super Saiyan 4 Goku, I think does replace a seven star Nova. So I think Nova should be a lot lower. I don't really like him. Maybe it's just me. I don't like how he works. Red Kefla, I've hardly used her and that's because I don't like the unit as well. Um, <laughs> she's similar to this new Zenkai Gogeta Blue with that she gets the vanish back up to what 60% or she's getting her vanish back 60% when she sidesteps two times three times whatever it is and she nullifies cover change and that's about it green card heals and that's about all I know don't think that warrants her being where she is I think Bergamo is a better option for rival universe so I would say she's below Bergamo at the minimum but she could definitely be lower for me Brigamo, all uncancelable buffs, green card, counters everything in the game besides Rising Rush. I see no problem with them. I love them. Tanky ass unit. Deserves to be higher. That's all I'll say. Respect Brigamo, please. Thank you. Um, let's keep going here. Let's see. Green Broly. Yeah, you make sense. Um, yeah, you make sense. I like where you are. You should. You can stay there. Yeah. You're not the greatest option for Super Saiyans, but you are an option that does exist. So, I like you there. Android 17, again, I said earlier, he could be higher. Um, definitely should be near Vegito Blue. Uh, he is basically LF Beerus, but modernized. And his damage is very good and very strong of a character. I really like what he does. And he has a cover change, so I like that as well. Should be higher. Underrated unit. Gogeta Blue, yeah, that makes sense. Both makes sense. Um, I do think a three-star Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta is better than Zenkai 7. Uh, Transforming Gogeta, I just think he takes way too long. You have to get in 12 counts. Uh, Transforming Gogeta, you have to have a lot of shit going right for you to have him do well. And if you want to run one Super Saiyans, you literally have three counts. Three counts to do his magic. If you want his full buffs, you have three counts to go from Bardock, while he's already transformed, Gogeta, to do your work. Because he doesn't get all his buffs till 12 counts in, and Bardock's buffs only last 15 counts. You got three counts to do all your work. That's not a lot. That's why he's low. Just takes too long and needs too much time. You don't have time in this game. You have to rush through everything because you die quick, right? Goku Black. Um, Goku Black, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you could be a little higher, but it's not a big deal where I'm like, oh my god, he deserves to be here, here, here. No, Goku Black makes sense. Ice should be higher. Um, he's just the best blue GT option, and he should get more respect for that. But overall, it's not the worst thing having him where he is. It's just, I personally don't see him being this low. Rival Goku makes sense. Uh, at least he's not tier 2. He does deserve to be tier 1. His tankiness does exist. His ability that Revival Cell has to basically not let the opponent rush because he can swap in does exist and that's a big factor into his kit even though it's not part of his kit it's just part of the play style that he makes you play against it works um he's not the greatest damaging unit he's not the greatest tanking unit but he gets the job done for what he is obviously Zenkai 7 Blue Goku is better but he's a very formidable option Yellow Goten is good support for uh LF Gohan and that's why he's here that's it but literally it. Um, Future Gohan is better synergy-wise, just because card draw speed, you know, more often than Goten has it, and better stalling for LF Gohan and supports as well. So Goten's a second-rate option. UI Goku at three, sure you could stay there. Android 18 again, Topo's a better option for Rival Universe, and for let's say Androids, yeah, 21's better option. Yeah, she stays there. Khalifla does no damage even against Saiyans. She's ass. Champa, I don't like him, so I agree. Broly could be moved up a little bit, but nothing too big. Maybe to where UI Goku is. Maybe to even above Goten. But I think he's slept on for a unit that actually is a Super Saiyan. But again, they did neuter him with being a Super Saiyan, so his kit isn't the greatest that it could have ever been, but it does work enough to warrant him being a little higher to me. Purple Gohan, he's the only purple for hybrids currently, so you know what? That that warrants him enough for me. Uh, and purple Vegeta, I think he should be a little higher, maybe above Shampa, maybe above Khalifa, perhaps. 
just his support is so crazy to me and his death buffs everything his kit encompasses is phenomenal again tier one does not mean they are unusable it just means they're lower than the others i don't think he's lower than khalifa and all them i think he is a very good option for what he is and how well he has aged so i think he'd be a little higher then tier two will run down quickly i'm just gonna look at it see if there's anything that pops out to me here and if not we'll go over everything I left Broly there, Ultra Goku. I think Vegeta Blue with three stars better than Ultra Goku at 14. That, no, honestly, that is my true take on that. Beerus. Okay, I agree with this. Super Saiyan 4 Goku has no explanation. <laughs> it's hilarious. Um, launch should be lower. Uh, just her teams just aren't it. They aren't meta. So. Uh, her kit's great. She's great, but her team's just are really bad. Majin Vegeta. Hmm. Okay. I don't really disagree with anything here. <laughs> I do think a three-star LF Rosé is better than a six-star Super Saiyan 4 Goku, personally. Just that bleed, man. It's crazy. Green Trunks, sure. Omega. Omega's definitely below cooler for me. Uh, on a region, let's say, uh, I'd easily run Cooler. People don't really like Cooler that much. I don't know why, but I think he's a pretty formidable Zenkai. A red Cooler, I'm talking about, by the way. Uh, Android 16, sure. I do think a three... No, no I think three-star Majin Vegeta is below Kefla, sure. EX Super 17, he's the only purple for Android, so yes. Go Tanks is the only... I mean, is he the only green for... He's the only Blast-based green that will semi buff hybrids because he buffs green and yellow so he'll buff like future gohan go 10 so i think he's an all right hybrids option if you really want to force him there so i get it that super saiyan god goku yeah he's the best one uh super saiyan blue goku sure i don't like him but sure you know you're not gonna run the third rate option when there's other units available android 21 should be below termina power gohan Zenkai 7 Piccolo should be a lot higher. He deserves a lot more respect. That's probably my biggest gripe right here. Zenkai 7 Piccolo should be like relaunches, truly. Um, he's very good supporting and honestly damaging isn't that bad. God Vegeta, okay, and these bottom few don't really matter to me. Uh, EX Frieza should be a little higher, but again, his team is dead in the water, so it doesn't really matter. But again, tier 1, tier 2 does not mean bad. And every unit within a five span radius, essentially up or down, can be swapped out discretionary. And Z tier is not the set in stone one, two, three, it's just top three in the game. So that's the game press tier list. Um, you can look at the bottom right quick. I'm not gonna personally go over it because I just don't think it's worth my time. Um, like, there's <laughs> like, what here do I actually care about, right? Like, who am I gonna run here that's actually here? Nobody, because tier three. Like he didn't say, um, tier three is really the bad units of the list, basically. But yeah, um, that's my overview of the game press tier list. Overall, I like how they organized it now with the three star, six star thing with LF units, uh, the Masters Pack thing with the Zenkais, and how they overall have done this list. I think it's more personalized to where okay um you're a whaleish type you'll have a six star lf of this guy or you're free to play you'll have three star just like the new lfs that came out some people have them three star some people have them six star and you can see where they're at make your own discretionary choice from this list or just use it to kind of gauge what people's thoughts are overall because that's what tier list is right you're gauging everyone's overall thoughts and then putting your own spin on it seeing if you agree or disagree it shouldn't be a big argument it should just be okay he put him here, I think he's here, let's see why this guy said this, and I'll say my reasons, and then we continue on. That's what a tier list is. But yeah, uh, overall I do agree with a lot of it, um, obviously there's some I don't with like Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, but overall I do think it's more accurate than it's ever been since I've been looking at them, which is probably the last year I've been looking at them. So yeah, I do think this is probably the most accurate game press has ever been with their tier list. I do like this new format of everything, how they're sorting it. And I enjoy that we have this, you know, tier list <laughs> available to us to actually compare 
our thoughts, my thoughts, your thoughts, everyone's thoughts, and see how we feel. But yeah, let me know if you guys agree or disagree with the majority of the tier list. If you have anything specific that you disagree with me on or the tier list, let me know. Personally, I think obviously what I said I think is true, but if you disagree, let me know why and we'll discuss it. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.